Okay, let's go walk across.
Olympic medal. Three gold, two silver, one bronze. And so here in Hawaii, it was a special ambassador right here in the international marketplace.
voice. Every movement of the dance is coordinated with the beat, the rhythm. So it's very special. In Samoa, of course, the most famous dance is the Siva Nivai, the Tuso Fire. Originally, a dance that belonged to the heritage of the warriors fighting to the death. And then we have the wonderful people from other parts of Polynesia like Kona, the only kingdom in all of the Pacific to date is the kingdom of Tonga. And there's so much more, but we are honored to share this sound and to bring out the wonderful feeling that belongs to the Kane and the Mahine together as they dance for you at the time of Tahiti. But everybody thinks that the Haitians came recently? No. They came between the 12th and 14th century. They became one with the Hawaiians. And then they went back to Tahiti and they left four wisdom stones not too far from the Duke Hanabuku statue. So in respect to that, we share with you the pride of Tahiti. Yo! Clinic 
providing medical care to the people of Hawaii. This work inspired her and King Kamehameha IV to let it be instrumental in building the Queen's Hospital. It still stands in the islands today here in Honolulu as the Queen's Medical Center. And these grounds of the international marketplace generate revenue that directly supports the Queen's Medical Center and continues to fulfill Queen Emma's desire to provide medical care to her people. So we are ever mindful that this place was once the home of that royal family who left so much to provide for the people of Hawaii to this very day. And we are truly honored because portraying Queen Emma is a neonatal intensive care nurse. She is also an operating room nurse. She is also a hospice nurse. She is also Kumu Hula, a teacher of the art of Hula, from Keiki to Kupuna. Youngsters to our grandparents, teaching them not just movements, but the culture, the history. So we are honored to introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, portraying Queen Emma. Welcome, Leilani Kahuan. So if one thinks, well, where can we go to see more of the royalty of Hawaii? It's right here. Great explanations here, there, 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 and throughout this international marketplace. And if you want more history, Kumehele Palace in Kona belongs to Kamehameha. Iowani Palace is downtown, opposite the Kamehameha statue, where King Cloud Koa and Queen Kamehameha. And then there's Queen Emma Summer Palace up in Nuuanu where you can see a lot of her writings and her home and what it felt like for her to be there too. It is indeed with great honor that we bring you up to date to our culture today. There was a time when we could not speak Hawaiian in the schools. It was banned in 1900. So there was a great change. So many of us grew up without the language, without the Oleto but we still have the spirit of the culture. And today, that language has been brought back because of Hula and the Mary Monarch Hula Festival, also Prince Lot Hula Festival and so many others. Festivals that are held in Japan throughout the world are still started here at this source of Hawaii. I've been wonderfully blessed to have the privilege of being the voice of the Mary Monarch Hula Festival in Hila, Hawaii. And so from Hilo to the world, every year since 1981, I was only six years old. I wish. I have been the host of the Mary Monacula Festival. If you talk about destiny, I never thought that that would happen. But it continues to perpetuate our people, our culture. And now, everyone speaks. Oleto Hawaii. They found it. They nurtured it and brought it back to its present form. And so we honor the future of Hawaii with Hula that respects our past. Once again, to Queen Emalani.
we share this sunset story and bring it to a wonderful finale, is really about sharing that call to righteousness and freedom and peace. And it came from our ancients. But we share this with the world. All because we have Aloha. Oh my God, whoa.